Tell me the story <laughs> about the, the Contessa. Story, yeah, a very brief story because her story was long. She lived in La Spezia in Italy by the end of the 19th, cen 19th century, right, right? And she was the most beautiful woman of Italy. And she worked as a spy, actually. She was the barefoot Comtesse, she was surnamed. Mm -hmm. And um, Italy had to deal with Napoleon that Napoleon gives back part of the land of the country to Italy. And they sent La Contessa di Castiglione actually to Paris to, to visit him through a beautiful evening ball and to, um, to be his lover and then convince him politically to give back part of Italy to the Italians, and she did. Actually, she went there, Napoleon fell in love with her, and they were lovers for a few months, and then in, within those few months, she spied out any of the projects Napoleon had for Italy. She told them to the Italian government, and, and they could somehow foresee a deal that he wanted to do with Italy, and um, she saved the Italians, yeah. probably, a lot of land that Napoleon already owned. And then the story was over. When she was 35, she decided that she's not beautiful enough anymore to um, be visible to the, to the outside. And she, 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 recorded. Yes, she yeah. wore a black wheel whenever in she her castle and whenever she went out, nobody saw her. And she only went out at but night. She still, she still went barefoot around for the rest of her life. But wheels, it's, it's a beautiful story. Yes, because there's a where we have a book that's super, 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 Can you tell me now that we're here about the feather? So, yeah. They were called um, the heavenly machines. They used to call the heavenly machines. And I made them for an exhibition in Milano in 2000. And the idea was to bring back those beautiful material into life, which ones where the wings of a bird could flew. And we found in a very old factory in the mountains of Italy, huge boxes with old feathers, really old feathers. And we took them and said, okay, we bring them back to life. We make an imitation of life and we construct spaceships for them and they can fly again. And we fill them with light and we celebrate that what they once could do. And so the heavenly machine.